Good evening, travelers. Welcome to another video with Traveling with the Graham Cracker. And yes, my quark is eating my fingers and wanting to be part of this video. So let me get him. Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Yep, he has decided he wants to be part of this video too. Every time I talk to the camera, he wants to be part of the video because he knows y'all are watching him. Uh-oh, lost him. Got to bring that back up. Bring that back up. Don't eat my fingers, okay? Do not eat my fingers. Be a good boy. All right? No eating my fingers. Shall we get your ball? Yes, we should get your ball. You think? All right. There's your ball. Now, I'm the graham cracker, and this is Quark. And Quark's my good buddy. Anyway, we're doing another video today of tips and tricks. It's just a short video uh, to show you a couple things, or at least one thing, how I um, use a reacher um, that you would normally purchase for someone who's disabled to make my bed, open and close my curtains, and some other things. So come along, check out this little video, and... Uh, We'll have that up in the morning for you to see. Tips and tricks. All right. We'll talk to you in a minute. Hmm. This particular arm is three feet and my mattress has slid around so it needs to be moved. I have changed up the mattress system on this van and I'll show you that in a minute but um, this reacher can be perched at home, purchased, not perched, at Home Depot in the lawn and garden area. It's metal, it's not plastic. Like I said, it's three feet, um, three feet long, and uh, it reaches everywhere on the bed. And I mean, no, you're not gonna tuck things in, but you don't have to get out of the van and go to the windows. I can reach all the way to the windows. And um, I can open the windows. Um, so it has this type of a handle, which isn't bad. It also has a little magnet. You can't see it, but this is a little magnet. It'll pick up tiny little magnetic things. Not much. But... I mean, this is my hand, and it opens that wide. It'll open big enough to pick up a roll of toilet paper. This is um, my books, and then there's a shelf here. And I just hang the reacher here on the shelf like that, and uh, it just hangs here behind things. Back to the bed. Um... I have a mattress, a regular mattress. That's the brown part, is a regular mattress. It's six inches and it's not focusing at all. Focus, focus. Hi, Quark. Are you in from pottying? You are. Okay, let me undo you. Inside now, good boy. All right, you just came in from going to potty. So, yeah. Anyway, um, focus camera. Anyway, I have a six inch mattress here and then a three inch mat foam, uh, memory foam with the gel, gel cold. So if it's cold, it's gonna be hard mattress. In the heat, it works great. But my top sheet 
I have a waterproof cover on my mattress so if Quark gets sick or has a problem, it doesn't ruin my foam. That's a must when you have dogs. It's on my pillows, it's on my mattress. But then my top sheet goes on the foam part. I never change this bottom part because I don't sleep on it and I don't use it. Once, maybe once every several months it needs to be washed, but I don't sleep on it. It's more like like what they call a bed skirt. It's a it's a fitted sheet, but it acts like a bed skirt, like you would put on a box spring uh, that they used to put on. So all I do is make the foam, because the foam is movable, it bends, it's very easy to move around, and it just is simple to make. And then you can make the bed, bed looks good, your van doesn't look like a total dump, and you have a nice bed. So anyway, that is my tips and tricks for today using this wonderful piece of equipment called a reacher. And let me tell you what, it has come in handy to do all kinds of things. It has a hook on the end, you can hang it on a hook, um, you can hang it there. The handle's plastic, but that's metal. And so it's not going to bend or break easy. It will bend, but it's kind of like the weight of a really light broom. Super lightweight as well. But that's tips and tricks. And uh, that's how I make my bed. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll catch back with you in a few minutes. Okay. Well... Thank you for coming along, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something new about tips and tricks that I do in everyday living inside my van slash RV. And I hope you enjoyed Quark over here eating his little ball, his little ball that he absolutely loves. He chases that ball and plays with it all the time. Are you going to eat that? Are you going to lick it to death? I have it, or do you want it? Do you want it? Take it. Take it. Take it. There you go. Hold it in your mouth. Because I'm not going to chase you for it. Hey, up here. Up here. You're going to hold that? Hold that. Oh, you want me to have it? You want me to have it? You sure? Let me have it. Huh? You want it? You want it? Say hi, everybody. Well, thanks for coming along. Anyway, follow your heart, embrace your dreams, and cherish your life. And get out there, do something fun that you enjoy. And if you got a little snot like this, keep them busy. They like being busy. He likes to chase this ball everywhere. He does. He's a good boy. You are a good boy? Yes, you're a good boy. All right. Bye-bye.